These are $250 Nike Vaporfly Next Percents, one of the fastest shoes in the world. And these are $60 fake Vaporflies that I bought from China. I'll be running a workout wearing the real Vaporflies versus the fake Vaporflies, and then try to win a 5K while wearing the fake Vaporflies at the end of the video. But first, let's compare the real versus the fake Vaporflies and see if we can even tell a difference. The weight difference between the two shoes is definitely the most significant. At size nine, the real Vaporflies weigh 6.8 ounces, and the fake vapor flies or faker flies weigh 8.6. Even just by holding them, I can tell the difference between the two weights. And in terms of appearance, the two shoes look almost identical. When I did this video with fake alpha flies, the real and fake alpha flies looked completely different and it was obvious which ones were fake. But with a hefty price tag of $60, at least compared to the $25 I paid before, the China fakers definitely upped the game with these. The biggest visual difference I can spot between the two is the difference in heel shape. On the real vapor flies, the heel is sharper and more pointed, while on the faker flies, it is a bit more rounded and dulled. The other major difference is the inside sole. The vapor flies look well put together with a darker orange, while the fake vapor flies sole has a neon hue and looks cheap. But besides those two differences, everything else looks pretty much the same. All of the tiny details match up, from the little Nike track patch to the logos on the tongue. At first glance, it is very, very difficult to tell which one is the real shoe and which one is the fake. All in all, these fakes look extremely similar to the real vapor flies, and it's tough to tell a difference until you look up close. I even put out an Instagram poll and only 59% of people knew which was the real vapor fly. So the question is, can the faker flies match the real vapor flies in a workout and truly make me faster? Or do they not provide any value beyond the surface level? Just like my ex-girlfriend. There's only one thing really to do. Hit the faker flies against the vapor flies in a workout and see which one is faster. Let's get it. And now we're at the track where I'm gonna be risking my physical health to finish a workout in the fake vapor flies. The workout's gonna be four mile repeats two in the fake vapor flies and two in the real vapor flies. So with the goal of 540 a mile, I laced up the vapor flies to get ready to run rep number one. We got the vapor flies on, the real vapor flies, feeling bouncy as always. When I did this workout before in the alpha flies, felt so good and then the fake alpha flies were impossible, literally impossible to hit 540 in. The real vapor flies are a proven shoe. I should be able to run 540 relatively easily. Let's get it baby, rep one. Rep number one, baby. But before we get to the workout, let me tell you about Dr. Rodas's Therapy Pace, the sponsor of this video. And don't skip this ad, guys. This stuff is actually amazing at healing injuries, helping the sore spots go away, and just recovery in general. So let's say that my arm is super sore after a really hard workout. All you have to do is take one of the Dr. Rodas Therapy Patches, open it up. Man, that past workout, man, my tricep is on fire. Just like that, all you do, stick it on, make sure it's on there tight. And what's great about it is it doesn't limit my flexibility at all. It feels like I basically have nothing on my arm. The patch is now gonna promote blood circulation down my tricep and also assist in any pain relief. So if you guys are feeling sore after a workout, like I'm about to feel after running in these faker flies, get some Dr. Rodas therapy patches. These things are amazing. Just click the link in the description. Go help them out. They made this video possible. And now let's get on with the workout. I started off rep one with high hopes of a 540. After all, these were elite shoes made by Nike. It's too easy, baby. And indeed, it was too easy. 540 didn't just feel easy, it felt fun. Lap to go. And with three laps down, I knew 540 was a lock. Coming in with a 537. Vapor flies are cracked, guys. Cracked. 537, I felt like I was walking the whole time. But now, the big test, I'm gonna put on the fake vapor flies and then try to run another 540 and see how much more difficult it is. I was scared as I laced up the faker flies, but a dog's gotta eat. The fake vapor flies have been applied. I think a 540 is gonna be difficult, but I think it's doable. We have two fake vapor flies. The last time I ran in fake shoes, it was impossible to even break six minutes in a mile. But as I counted off the laps in the faker flies, I realized 540 wasn't too hard and came through in 535. 
535. $60, I spent as fast as in $250 shoes. My mind is blown. I definitely did feel like I was putting in more effort. Call it a one-off. We're about to put it back to the test, run another mile in vapor flies, then another in the faker flies. Another 540 coming right up. We cook it, baby. As I began rep three in the real vapor flies, I could instantly tell a difference between the two shoes. I was clipping off laps way ahead of pace and reached the mile mark before I knew it in a ridiculously easy 529. Some of you guys might call it bad pacing, but that was a 529. But now's the ultimate test, final rep, in the faker flies, faker flies on for the last rep here. But you know what they say, last one, fast one. Rep four, baby, let's get it. The final mile in the fake vapor flies. Would I end up getting horribly injured? Not at all. Last one, fast one indeed, as I finish the vapor fly workout in another 529. 529 last rep. I don't know, man. My overall takeaway from this workout is that it's definitely possible to run fast in the finger flies, but it is definitely harder to run in these than the real vapor flies. And there's one test left, the race. And now I'm gonna attempt to win a 5K by wearing the fake vapor flies. No lie, this is gonna be a lot more challenging than the one in the fake alpha flies because I mean, there's probably 10 times as many people. I feel more confident in these than the Alpha Flies. I should be able to throw down a faster time. The goal is probably sub 18. Then I gave the shoes to Bashir to guess which was which. Oh, well, this is gonna be easy to tell. We gotta do this. Mmm. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Not a bad thing, right? They look identical. Bro, we might have a new business venture. Or is this super illegal? <laughs> yeah, you tell me. <laughs> Selling fake Nike, I could do that. <laughs> I'm bringing out the OG high school singlet. And then I laced up the faker flies for the very last time, praying to God they were good enough to help me earn the dub. These definitely do not measure up to the real vapor flies, but that's why they're a quarter of the price. These are like legitimate shoes. I feel supported. I feel like I can still actually run, unlike in the Alpha Flies where I literally could not run in them. This race looks like it's about to start. I'm gonna go be at the front of the line. Bro, I feel like all these kids are about to flood the start line. I need to be at the front. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's get it. Good luck. Do you like my shoes? They're the fastest shoes in the world. This competition right. looks steep. So all these children crowded the start line at the beginning. I was forced back, but I was still able to intimidate one last dude. I'm trying out the vapor Mom. flies. Uh, hey. This race was about to be chaos, but it was also about to start. Two, <laughs> one, and they're off. The gun goes off and there's more kids around me than a Roblox server. I'm eventually able to break free and assert myself at the very top of the race. Let's go, baby. Feeling good. The fake vapor flies were feeling pretty nice. Fourth place right now. One of the dudes is half though. So the weird part about this race is that it was a 5K, 10K, and half marathon happening all at once. One of the guys in front of me was running the half and the other two were in the 10K, making me currently in first place for the 5K as I hit mile one. 552 first mile and the fake vapor flies felt good, but my arch was really starting to ache. Having never ran longer than a mile in these, I was starting to feel the pain as I hit mile two. But now it was the home stretch and I knew I had to fight to hang on for the win. I didn't want to slow down and let someone pass me. The whole time I was thinking about how much easier this race would be with the real vapor flies, but honestly the faker flies were miles better than the falfa flies. At this point my arch was screaming in protest, but I knew I had just a few minutes of pain left. All of a sudden the finish line was in sight and there was no one close to me, which allowed me to take the win in this 5k with a time of 1814.